Hi, this is Monty with Phoenix Tactical Solutions and today we're going to talk about drawing your handgun from an isosceles stance. So, if the target is at my 12 o'clock straight ahead and I'm square with it, I want my feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, my body leaning forward somewhat, nose over toes. Very aggressive stance. We have a three count draw. By the way, before I start off, this is my firing hand, this is my support hand. Some people call it strong, weak. Anyway, we have a three count draw. Count one is very dynamic. Your support hand and firing hand move simultaneously. This is for safety reasons. You want your support hand out of the way. So count one looks something like this. Let me turn around so you can get a better view. If you notice, I have a full grip, shooting grip on the handgun. Again, I'm coming, if you notice, I'm coming down on the handgun. I don't want to do this. I don't have a full shooting grip and I certainly don't have any control over the handgun. So again, count one, full grip. Notice my support hand is out of the way. It's on my sternum, to the left of my sternum. Count two, as the handgun clears the holster, notice my finger is straight, I drop my elbow. If you notice, the handgun is somewhat canted because I can shoot from here. This is close contact retention position. If, if, if I don't cant it, when I shoot, the slide reciprocating can hit my chest and induce a malfunction. And I certainly don't want to deal with that. So from here, count three, my hands melt together in front of me as, as close to me as possible. I don't want to be chasing the gun, nor do I want my uh, hand in front of the muzzle. So from here, my hands melt together as I extend to the target. And you notice I'm going straight to the target. I don't want to see any bowling and or fishing. So from, again, count two, straight to the target. I engage the threat as many rounds as it takes to stop the threat. I track the threat down once he's down. Pause for a second. Make sure he's in fact down. Once you've made that uh, uh, determination, you check your six. You do your after actions. Make sure there's no one to your left or behind you. Once I've done that, I come back to count two. Pause for a second. You're not going to win a gunfight reholstering fast. Notice my finger is straight. After I've done shooting, at all times my finger is straight, high up on the slide. Then I reholster. You notice I didn't look at the holster. If you're starting off, sure, go ahead and look at it. As you get proficient with it, there really is no need to uh, look at the holster. You want to be situ situationally aware, so you want your eye on the thread. Even though you've ascertained he's down, it's just best to not take your eyes off what's been going on. When you shoot close contact using an isosceles stance, at least blade off a little bit. I see a lot of our uh, shooters come and the targets an arm's length away and they're standing square with it. You would never do that even if it was a physical altercation. You wouldn't do that. You want to be opened up a little bit. Handgun is further from him. If he tries to grab it, I can protect it and move back. There's two ways of having your arms. Some people like to flare their elbows out. Again, you gotta make, you know, adapt everything to your needs. For me, I have elbow surgery, I've had shoulder surgeries. I can't do this for a prolonged period of time. It hurts me when I do it right now. So for me, I have my elbows down and there's really no need for this. Even if you're in good health, this is very tiring to having your elbows flared out. So I just have my elbows pointing down if I'm shooting and moving, I like my elbows to act somewhat as a shock absorber so I don't lock out. If I'm shooting from a distance, 25 yards and beyond, I like to lock it up a little bit more. You know, have a sturdy uh, lock-up uh, platform. That's shooting from an isosceles stand. It's a great system. For me, personally, I have a hybrid where I have a modified weaver stance, whereby if the thread is at 12 o'clock, my feet are traveling at 2 o'clock. So, notice the thread is over there, my feet are going this way because I like to be bladed. But when I draw, count one, count two, count three, I rotate my body. So I'm kind of a hybrid situation. For me, this helps me move faster. Being in a bladed position makes me move back and forth much faster for me. And I think I have more balance. I'm not off balance. Anyway, all to say, no system is perfect. 
You have to perfect it within your own limitations, whether it be physically or whatever it is. So always change things around as long as it's done safely and correctly within your parameters. This is Monty again with Phoenix Tactical Solutions. You can visit, visit us at www.phoenixtacticalsolutions.com. I hope to see you in class someday. Thanks again.